Welcome to the Medusa 4 tutorial creating a 3D model from a 2D drawing. Open the 3D ribbon menu and click on the view box tool and the box corners tool. Use two left mouse button probes to create a box around the first view. Select the dynamic construction line tool and create two horizontal lines from the view box. Select the view box line and create a new box around the second view using the construction lines to help locate the box corners. Open the home ribbon menu and select the horizontal construction line tool. Place the horizontal line just above the bottom of the view box using a left mouse button pro. Open the 3D ribbon menu and select a 3D prim DYZ. Place this in the first view on the left of the construction line. Then select a second prim, DXZ, and load this on the same construction line in the second view to the right. Use a left mouse button probe to place the prim. The two prims define the orientation and datum of the new model. Delete the construction lines from the home ribbon and refresh the graphics area. The next step is to convert the 2D lines into suitable 3D line styles. Open the Sheet Structure browser dialog and select the lines on the left view box. First with the left mouse button and the next two with the middle mouse button. Use the right mouse button option Reparent and click on the sheet in the structure tree. Then in the graphics area, right mouse button menu option Apply. The lines are now moved into the structure tree to the sheet level. In the structure tree, click on the style tab and open the lines group. Scroll down to the 3D standard lines and select the LP5 profile line with a double click. This changes the lines in the drawing to the LP5 style. From the 3D Ribbon menu, select the Linear Sweep tool. This is creating what we call a model definition line. With the left mouse button, select the C profile line, and then with two left mouse buttons, indicate the depth of the volume sweep in the second view. Via the right mouse button menu, select the option New Line, and then select the plate outline with the left mouse button, and the hole with the left mouse button. Automatically the system knows the second profile is a hole. Then with the four extra left mouse button clicks define the two volume sweeps in the second view. Exit tool with the right mouse button option. Create the 3D model now using the model and reconstruct tool from the 3D ribbon. Open the 3D viewer to view the result. With the middle mouse button you can rotate the model. Dismiss the model viewer. Click and select the definition line for the C profile. And via the right mouse button option properties a dialog is opened. Here the colour can be defined via the surf button. Select a suitable colour from the palette, for example green. Press apply to commit the change. We do exactly the same for the definition line for the plate. Here we change the colour to yellow and commit the change. From the 3D ribbon menu, press the Model and Reconstruct tool to generate the model with the new colours. 
open the 3D viewer to see the changes. Again with the middle mouse button you can freely rotate the model and see it from any angle. Dismiss the model viewer. We shall now add an isometric view to the drawing. Click the view box line and then the box corners tool and use two left mouse button probes to create the new box above the left view. From the 3D ribbon menu select a view prim isometric view and place the prim with a left mouse button probe in the corner of the new view box. Press escape or right mouse button option exit tool to leave the tool. Select the new view box line and via the dashboard dialog select the fit setting to be on. Click on the model and reconstruct tool to generate the model view. This completes the tutorial creating a 3D model from a 2D drawing.